Let's uh, take a quick trip inside calcium, for example, inside your gummy bear or milk. Uh, believe it or not, milk and gummy bears are made of electrons, protons, and neutrons. All of those make up a nucleus uh, surrounded by various electrons, which don't just roam around independently, but they move around and live in um, a very organized fashion. So what makes calcium calcium to give milk its properties is, believe it or not, the number of electrons and then the number of protons and whatever the properties of the nucleus are. And what differentiates calcium from um, iron, for example, is how many orbitals filled with electrons there are and how many electrons live in each of these orbitals. Think of orbitals as um, discrete, again, homes for a finite number of electrons. Each one of these homes or orbital can allow only a certain number of electrons to uh, take to leave there, and all of these orbitals we give them names, um, not very interesting names, but some that are easy to remember. So we call them S, P, D, F. Um, so in the first orbital in S, only a small number, two electrons can leave. As you move up in the orbitals, you can have six and then 10 and then 14, etc. cetera, uh, maximum number of electrons. So imagine of building your atom one orbital by uh, orbital by orbital and even at the orbital level, you build those electron by electron. For example, calcium has 20 electrons that start filling up these orbitals from the lowest one to the highest one until you run out of electrons.